Two months ago, the National Association of Realtors sounded the alarm that if yields kept rising, mortgage rates could hit 8%. Well, fast forward to today, that's about what we have. Joining us right now is the organization's chief economist, Lawrence Yoon. And Lawrence, I was looking at stuff with a friend over the last week or two. Mortgage rates are, are at 8%, even if you've got pretty good credit rating and money in the bank. Uh, good morning, Becky. Uh, right now, the situation for the housing market is very tough. The mortgage rate going up to 8 percent, again, highest in a two-decade uh, uh, level. Uh, that is pulling back demand naturally. But what is interesting is that now we are seeing some of the supply issues, like the home builders' construction loans, building apartments. Those loans are becoming 10 percent, 11 percent, 12 percent on construction interest. So we may have a restriction on supply, which would fuel rent increases and add to the inflation. So I think the Federal Reserve is clearly overdoing the rate hike, and it could backfire given that housing is a big weight to the overall consumer price inflation. What, what's to be done about it if the problem is a supply issue, Lawrence? Well, you know, it's supply is to assure that the home builders are not burdened in terms of trying to build homes, uh, remove the excessive uh, regulation, or even some of the rechanging zoning uh, implication. We should also consider some tax credit incentive to bring some of the disused commercial properties, whether office buildings or empty shopping mall, convert it into residential units or some vacant houses, uh, maybe uh, some uh, tax credit to make it habitable so that more people can, uh, we see more supply coming onto the market. So it's all about supply at the moment. Right now, this high interest rate, well, now people cannot buy, so now they are extending their leases, renting longer, adding to the rental demand and making the rent increases to possibly strengthen. Well, some of the things you've talked about, the idea of offering loans or tax incentives to get people to convert, convert some of the commercial retail space or commercial office buildings into housing. I mean, those are ideas that, that you hear a lot of real estate people talking about. Is there, are they getting any traction with, with um, elected officials who would have to buy into that? Uh, it's a small movement, so it is moving in the right direction, but in an incremental um, way. Uh, one thing that will quickly boost inventory is to possibly consider a capital gains tax reduction for real estate investors, mom and pop investors, not Blackstone or BlackRock, but say who are owning, say, five properties or less. If one was to put that onto the market, uh, then one would have reduction in capital gains tax from a sale, so we can have immediate increase in supply. So that's one of the things that our organization is speaking with members of Congress. Lawrence, Diana was just pointing out that adjustable rate mortgages are, are much more popular these days as people are trying to find some way to get a little relief out of issues. Um, something like 8 percent of the mortgages now versus 3 percent historically. Is that a good bet? It, an adjustable rate mortgage means you think rates are coming down in the not too distant future. Would you tell people to do that or is there a chance that rates are going to go much higher and stay higher for much longer? Uh, well, you know, first, uh, the adjustable rate mortgage are almost same as the 30-year fixed rate uh, interest rate. So it's in terms of the interest rate comparison today, uh, is equal. So I would say, you know, lock in on those long-term rates. One can always refinance downward. But the overall direction of uh, the interest rate, I believe, will be downward. Uh, clearly, the economy is slowing. Uh, we see some of the leasing activity in office space, warehouse. Uh, all are becoming much softer conditions, so economy is slowing. We you see think that? If you talk to Larry Fink or Jamie Dimon or any other, uh, many of many big um, CEOs on Wall Street, they say you better be prepared for higher rates for longer. If you're making these choices on the assumption not only do you think the economy is coming down, but you think the Fed has tamed inflation and that they will go along with that. It's a risky proposition to have an adjustable rate mortgage if you're doing this to try and make sure you have enough money to make your monthly mortgage payment. Uh, so, you know, my advice right now is go into the fixed rate, 30-year fix. Yeah. Because even with that, one can always refinance once the interest rate goes down. Correct. Uh, I think the mortgage rates are topping out now. Hopefully, there is some downward drift in the upcoming months.